Today I will um, talk about civic initiatives and uh, associations or informal groups uh, for supporting migrants that have been um, created uh, in the countries from the uh, Western Balkans uh, on the context of the ongoing migration crisis. In this presentation I will try to answer to two main questions. Why analyzing uh, this kind of associations and initiatives and uh, what are more precisely uh, their characteristics and why did I take them into consideration uh, before um, giving you a brief of uh, my main findings. Since the start of the current migration crisis, the challenges of migrant volumes and the politics of transit countries closing their borders have resulted in some parts of civil society taking the side of the migrants, most notably through the creation of various associations. In my paper, I am analyzing the particular type uh, of association, informal and spontaneous groups um, that have been creating at a local level in transit countries on the Balkans route and that use social media either as an exclusive way to campaign and deploy their activities, either as an additional communication tool in order to reach a transnational community. By doing so, I try to understand two main things. What are their characteristics and role of these initiatives and groups in a particular political political context, which is the one of democracies in transition. And secondly, um, could they represent a particular space for self-organized and self-managed civic commitment that accompanies uh, this democratic process? Why analyzing this civic initiative? There are two arguments to answer this question. From a more general point of view, as civic initiatives and associations represent a form of democratic education and action and are therefore simultaneously contributing to the legitimacy of the political system and to the creation of social ties that go beyond close communities formed by family and friends. From a more specific point of view, because even if the Balkan route has been closed in spring 2016, it continues to be a reality with which the countries from this region have to cope with. Indeed, as they cannot pursue their journey um, with their until their final destination anymore, meaning the Western uh, Europe, migrant people are stuck mainly in countries such as Serbia and Macedonia and are therefore obliged to ask for asylum there. The second question, um, is what are these uh, the characteristics of these uh, informal groups that have been created locally uh, in order to support uh, the migrants transiting uh, these countries? There are two main groups, two main categories of these initiatives. Uh, the first one uh, represents those who have been created exclusively on um, social media such as Facebook by Serbian, Croatian and Macedonian uh, residents. For example, uh, we can uh, mention uh, refugee aid in Croatia or refugee aid in Macedonia. Their activity aims mainly to do fundraising and they address to a community that is exclusively online, local community, but also diaspora and international people. The second category um, represents the local initiatives in the country from the Western Balkans, for which social media, once again, such as Facebook, are only an additional tool of communication and activities promotion. Meaning, for example, an additional to a website of an informal group that deploys its activities in the field, in cities such as Belgrade. This is the case of Refugee Ed Serbia uh, and Refugee Ed Mixaliste, which has been lately created by Refugee Ed Serbia in order to respond to the increasing demand of emergency support for migrants that are stuck in uh, Belgrade. Within this context and with this brief element, it is time to see what are the findings. Very shortly, we can say that civic initiatives have been created by the circumstances of the ongoing migration crisis, mainly thanks to social media. 
From that, we can conclude two different things. That social media is a different is a facilitator, sorry, of the creation of civic initiatives in the countries from the Western Balkans who are facing the uh, issue of migrants' transit through their territories. And that this civic informal groups mobilize some parts of uh, civil society taking the sides of the migrants, even though their global impact on the society as a whole is a rather weak, mainly because they only represent a small part of the civil society. The voluntary commitment of local population is weak. The support from local authorities, notably the financial support, is non-existent. All these factors raise the question of their sustainability in the long term, especially when uh, we know that these people who are temporarily settled uh, in, uh, in the country from the Western Balkans, like Serbia, for example, will, because of the context, have to establish for good in these countries and will have to be supported with their local integration by local Politics. The second thing that we can say is that these initiatives and formal groups represent a particular form of civic commitment that mobilize communities that go beyond national and cultural borders, thanks to uh, the facilitator that are, uh, that are social media, meaning by creating transnational communities of interest in favor of migrants and uh, supporting, in this particular way, the democratic process. For more information about the research that I have done and other papers that the Geneva Hub for Democracy have already uh, published so far, you can check our website, which is www.genevahub.ch. Um, so, enjoy your reading. <laughs>